going on today, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay. Um, it's been a few weeks, and I'm sorry about that. I've been busy. Uh, personal stuff's going on. It's the holidays. Everybody's busy, bustling around, bustle and hustle, whatever that is. Uh, you know how it goes, man. It's just uh, it's that time of year when you're trying to get everything done, you're trying to get prepped for the holidays. You're trying to figure out, you know, did I accomplish what I wanted to this year? I think this year, though, you give yourself a pass because, you know, if you're still alive and you're healthy, thank goodness for that, right? I mean, that's all we really need to be thankful for right now because things could be a lot worse. And, um, yeah, experience some, our family's had some tough times recently, and uh, but we're getting through it, you know. And like everybody else, I'm sure a lot of other families are touched by things going on, current events that are happening in the world and uh, that great nonsense that's going around the world that keeps coming back to this country we think we have it under control and then we don't don't even get me started man so stay safe stay healthy i know i say that that's my tagline at the end but you know remember that do that do what it takes to be uh to be okay for 2022 so today i'm coming back at you guys with finally episode two of uh nasty tones so today's nasty tone isn't necessarily dirty and grungy but it just sounds nasty because it's so pure and so clean, actually. It's a low-gain tone. Let me know what you think. opening lick by the way uh something i'm working on and i'll probably throw it in one of my songs but it's kind of cool it's a nice little uh a you know, little ditty whatever you want to call it <laughs> I've said it before, I love these chords. It's basically a power chord with an add nine thrown in there. And I use them all the time, I use them everywhere. So that's kind of the opener. And then I go back to one of those pedal tone riffs, which yes, I do that probably way too frequently, but it's just kind of my style, it's what I do. And uh, it sounds cool. <laughs> Just your basic, uh, you know, heavy metal riff, but it sounds cool and you can definitely solo over it or sing over it, whatever you want. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I really love guitar tones that can work in both uh, rhythm and lead situations. Uh, if it's just a matter of throwing a volume pedal in to kind of boost it up when you do your lead stuff, that's, you know, that's what it takes. That's just me. I like tones that are very versatile. They kind of sound like it could go either way uh, as far as rhythm or lead. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. And also, it's just less thinking when you're, you know, playing live on a gig and you don't want to jump around and hit your pedals or forget to step on something. You know, the tone is still there. It's what you need. Just play it a little louder, play it a little harder, or else, you know, hit an expression pedal or volume pedal. Just boost it up a couple dB so you can stand out. But, yeah. These kind of tones for me are, uh, that's just my style. That's my personality, you know. I also like tones that are dedicated lead and dedicated rhythm tones. I like those too. Those are fun to play with sometimes. But for me, I just like to keep it simple, you know, and just one tone that works all around. And that's kind of what this is right here. <laughs> I'm digging it, right? I'm using the Audio Assault uh, Sigma 2 V2 amp, and this thing is sick. 
it has a lot of presence, but it's not too bright where it's kind of like, you know, you got to dial back the, the treble crazy amounts and it's not too muffled. It's not too, it's not too much of anything. It's just right. Basically, this, this is what I'm looking for. I want a low to mid gain tone for my leads and my rhythms. And I like to be able to throw a lot of uh, delay and reverb on there, especially for the lead stuff. You know, you want to get that. That stuff is a lot of fun too. I mean, once in a while you got to do it. You can't always play a dry tone, scooped mids and all that stuff. I mean, break out of the box once in a while. Just have some fun with it, man. Just crank up some effects once in a while. And just, you know, just go crazy on it. But yeah, what do you guys think of this nasty tone here today? Uh, Audio Assault Sigma version two. It's been out for a while. It was updated, I think this, this year. And uh, I'm so pleased with this thing. I mean, definitely, definitely, this is one of my top, probably I would put it almost at like top three out of everything that's out there currently. And I do have a lot of amp sims from a lot of different companies. This has got to be probably top three because it's so easy to dial in a decent tone. Um, it does not take a lot of effort. I mean, you know, you throw the default channel up there, the, the default setting preset and just tweak it. I mean, 30 seconds to a minute, you've got something that's halfway decent. Uh, like I said here, this is a lower gain tone. There's three channels. There's a clean, a crunch, and then a high gain. I'm, I'm on the mid channel, and I've got the gain about three quarters of the way up. I'm at 7.2. And uh, stomp box, yeah, we've got a little boost in the lows. I've got the drive pedal engaged, but it's on zero. You know, the tone is straight up the middle, 50%. And... Uh, this just fits the bill, man. This is this is definitely what I'm looking for on an everyday type of tone that, again, is something I can use for either a rhythm or a lead or both. You know, if you've got an expression pedal, set it for your volume. If you've got a volume pedal, just tweak it up a couple dBs and you can blast away in your leads and then just set it back down when you're back with the band, you know, in time on the rhythm stuff. So, nasty tone, yeah. Not dirty nasty, but it's just sick. So we gotta call it nasty. We're gonna call it that. That's it, guys. Short and sweet today. I just wanna come back at you guys because it's been a while. And I do wanna say I'm extremely appreciative for all of my subscribers and all you guys out there that are checking out the channel. I've been going at this now for uh, just about a year. In, in another two or three weeks, it'll be a full year since I first started the YouTube channel. And uh, progress has been slow, but I've learned a lot along the way. And I have to say, I got to give a lot of respect out there to the YouTubers that are growing fast in the bigger channels because I know now what it really takes to get, get ahead and get more prominence and more viewership, basically. I feel like I've come a long way in this past year, but again, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my subscribers. Uh, and if you enjoy what you're seeing here and you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button if you want. I mean, it's not going to hurt you. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps the algorithm. Trying to tame that algorithm, get it under control. I'm definitely uh, motivated and geared up to kind of get to that 1,000 subscriber mark, and that's my first benchmark. We're going to get there soon. And I did make an announcement recently on another video, but I had to take the video down because I had some audio issues with it. As soon as I hit 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway on this channel. I will be giving away a brand new guitar. Uh, it's yet to be determined what guitar that'll be. It won't be one of mine that's currently, you know, in my possession. It'll be something brand new, and it's not going to be a cheapie. It's not going to be a little $200 Squire. It's going to be something really cool. So all you have to do at this point, basically, is subscribe, hit the like button on this video, and when the time comes, when I get to 1,000 subscribers, there'll probably won't be one more, uh, you know, prerequisite for the, for the contest, which is like, you know, leave a comment at one of my other videos or something to that effect. But I'll give you more details when we get closer to the 1,000 mark. You got a couple more weeks before the holidays are wrapped up, so make sure you get all your shopping done or whatever you have to do. But most importantly, make sure that you enjoy some quality time with your family because that's really what's most important. That's more important than the capitalism, you know, feeding the, the machine that is U.S. capitalism. We've got other things to worry about right now. Maybe help somebody out, help your neighbor, do something nice for somebody else. Share, give a little bit of yourself, and remember that, you know, as long as you're happy, healthy, you've got a good life, you can share some of yourself with other people and uh, just do a little more giving, a little less taking. And that's something I have to remember for myself too. Be a little more self, uh, selfless, basically. Be, be, more, be more giving of myself. I'm gonna play myself out, I guess, on the video.